Now to our top story today. The House approved two bills to protect abortion rights across the country. 23 ABC's Brianna Polk spoke with the state attorney general today about reproductive rights for women here in California. She joins us now live in downtown Bakersfield to share more about what this, these two bills could mean for reproductive rights going forward. Brianna. That's right, Mark and Keeley. When efforts to restore abortion rights nationwide, the two bills that were voted by the House today were the first Democratic legislative response to the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe versus Wade. California is a strong reproductive freedom state. Since the Dobbs decision and in the ramp up towards the Dobbs decision has not only protected and defended its existing uh, rights, uh, but has expanded and strengthened those protections. The first bill voted by the House is to prohibit punishment for a person who decides to travel to another state to get an abortion, and the other bill would restore abortion access nationwide. Following Roe v. Wade, California Attorney General Rob Bonta issued guidance on abortion rights and protections under California law, which remain fully intact. They are many. Um, those strong laws that protect reproductive freedom in California. They include generally the right to safe and legal abortion in California, period. That, that right is fully protected, uh, fully uh, legal. Attorney General Bonta says under California law, you have the right to an abortion before viability. You do not need to provide a reason. You have the right to an abortion after viability to protect your life or your health. You have the right to confidentiality. Your spouse will not be notified about your abortion. You have the right to obtain an abortion without parental consent. It's really important for folks to know them so that they can uh, fully enjoy those rights and, and fully utilize them as necessary um, based on their own uh, private decisions about uh, their body and uh, their decision of uh, whether and when to have a family. Additional rights for people in the state of California stated by the Attorney General are, you have the right to have your prescription for medicine to bring about an abortion. You have the right to access abortion services for little to no charge. You have the right to an abortion performed by a trained professional. You have the right to ask your health care provider if they have objections. And we can make sure that their rights are vindicated through, through our efforts or through local law enforcement. These are legal rights. They are not suggestions, they are not um, advisories, they are rights uh, in California. And the two bills that were passed today are now headed up to the Senate. And coming up later tonight at 6, we'll share more on what the California Attorney General says you can do if your abortion rights are denied. Live in downtown Bakersfield, I'm Brianna Polk, 23ABC News, connecting you.